Pat Metheny keyboardist Lyle Mays has died. He was 66. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Now there was a guy who could create a mood. Matheny's website stated that Mays had a long battle with a recurring illness. And in a statement, the guitarist says, Lyle was one of the greatest musicians I have ever known. Across more than 30 years, every moment we shared in music was special. From the first notes we played together, we had an immediate bond. His broad intelligence and musical wisdom informed every aspect of who he was in every way. I will miss him with all my heart. Growing up, his passions, well, he had four, chess, mathematics, architecture, and music. The latter helped along by his parents. His mother was a keyboardist. His father was a guitarist. He played weddings at nine, and by 14, he was a regular playing in his local church. And Mays was there in 1978, featuring Danny Gottlieb on drums and Mark Egan on bass. There was also that classic duo album from Lyle Mays and Pat Metheny, As Falls Wichita, So Falls Wichita Falls. At that time, I had swerved off from pop and rock as a radio programmer and started programming New Age and Jazz. And the Wichita album, I remember playing it, and I rarely did this in my 37-year radio career. I played every track off the album, especially Estupanda Grasa, which was their version of Amazing Grace. And remember, these were the ECM years for Pat Metheny and Lyle Mays. And proggers especially really liked this type of music if they discovered it, if they had a friend who introduced them to it. Because you went, like prog, you went on a journey. And by the end of it, you were not in the same place. Of course you weren't musically. Things had changed. And Lyle Mays was a big part of that. By 1982, you could feel the future of that Pat Metheny group sound with the album Off Ramp and songs like Are You Going With Me. A couple of years later, Still Life Talking. The wave in L.A. was starting. It was 1987. And everyone who was doing NAC, the new adult contemporary format, that NAC format, everyone was playing Last Train Home. And it was his first gold album. Lyle Mays was a big part of that. They were like a train track. Lyle Mays would be there first creating a mood and then Pat Metheny would add on to it. He'd add on to that. And I'd never seen two players who played together so well. In 1989, Letter From Home came out. That's when I saw them in Vancouver, probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. And as a programmer, I was playing songs like Slip Away. These tunes kind of had that world music speed ticket kind of feel to them. I always felt that about the Pat Metheny group. Even though on some levels they were kind of laid back tunes, there was always a sense of spirit travel in there. That kind of changed what your record collection kind of looked like. Because it was hard to just buy a Pat Metheny album and not buy more. Or be more curious about where he was going with jazz and world music. And again, Lyle Mays just made it sound better. As a keyboard player, he was extraordinary, as Pat Metheny said. Lyle Mays released a handful of albums, won the Grammys, and played with a lot of different artists, Earth, Wind & Fire, Joni Mitchell, Ricky Lee Jones, Bobby McFerrin, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Nando Loria. If you like Pat Metheny and the Lyle Mays groove, Lyle Mays played on Nando's first album. Eventually, Nando ended up joining the Pat Metheny group. If you like Lyle Mays, if you like Pat Metheny, check out Nando Loria. He's working on a brand new album right now. There's a whole vibe and a very freeing spirit to everything that Lyle Mays would do. I like the pair soundtrack album, The Falcon and the Snowman. Check that out. And even though we don't usually talk about new age music on this channel it was a big part of my life in the mid to late 80s i completely left rock music and pop music to basically program this stuff which changed my life at the time i really needed it so even though like i said we don't talk about new age and jazz on this channel there was never a universe that i would not talk about lyle mays in his unfortunate passing may he rest in peace he certainly gave me a lot 66 years old Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rocky Stream Music.